building. What is up? What is up? Jeez, I'm good. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I'm chilling. I got not like tools though. What did I do? The tools is chilling on some mansion level. <laughs> You want to be like two very girl. No, no, no. I Honestly, need to be like, like you. Me too. You guys need to. I didn't pay for that. I was hosted by the hotel. It shall look that, good. That's even that's even worse. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's rich people. They say rich people don't pay for things. Hmm. It's true. It's like level up and yeah, try and level up and buy it. Yeah. So like. Sound like me now that wanted I say I want to stay in the same place at two so I'm not gonna spend my money. <laughs> wow, you know how much you want. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, 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 Mr. Easy. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Good, thank you good. very much. Alright, so wait, how long are you in the country for? Because I don't I know you don't really live here anymore, right? I, I live everywhere. Okay, so I, how but I you? live I I leave the country at uh, ten. On the tenth? No. 10 At ten PM today. What, today? Yeah, I came in uh, 10 a.m. You came in 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah. See, I want to and be you, like you. So why did you? <laughs> I need to be like you. Exactly. Like, what are you? What are you here? I came to see you guys, though. Are you serious? But yeah. I came empty-handed. That's not how this works. I came to see. You. Don't worry. That was this back door. <laughs> Which dirty back door? It's back door things. And Mr. Easy is m one of the um, most, should I say, s successful, financially successful. Hey. Artist, right? I don't know if you're with FIRS. <laughs> well, no, but you, you, the thing is, I always talk about you, and even the other day as well, we had um, DJ Edu because mm -hmm. uh, he's oh, got yeah, this new Edu. show, and he um, we're talking about you. Is he still here? Though? Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got something he, um, happening today. Yeah, yeah, for his new show, and we talked about you, and and he basically the same thing that I've I've said like over and over again. What? He said that um you you know I always anytime I talk to you I always say that I I admire the fact that you really really learnt the business side yeah. of things, um because a lot of people think it's all about okay getting a hot song out there making sure it's played but mm -hmm. there's a lot more than that it's, to it it's, right. It's, it's like the most complicated one of the most complicated like businesses in the world is the music business like. No, but you learnt it. Oh, yeah, so we need to catch up on what you've been doing. Uh, yeah. so the last time I spoke to you was about a year ago, and you said that you were, it was roughly about this time last year, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. November. And yeah, you said that you were um, next year, being 2019, yeah. you were going to go on tour yeah. with, it was in South America. With J Balvin. J Balvin. Yeah. yeah. And you went. Wow, that's. Jeez, that's a I, long time. I remember you were supposed to take me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Why for obvious you? reasons, you couldn't come. Yeah, but that. I was I, like, I was like, my baby will be born. He'll be fine. I should come. <laughs> home, come home. So you were like, yeah, I think oh, yeah. I, you told me you were somewhere like Mexico or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. But um, how yeah. did that? How did that go? It was good. It was. It was. It was fun. It was inspiring. Um, you know how you think like you you like you need some inspiration and you think oh you're doing a lot and then you see you get a glimpse of like the next level and this is like the next 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 level because it was like 20,000 capacity every night oh, wow and, and yeah. how did that come about um i went to i had a show in haiti and i worked there's there's a producer called michael Brown. he came out to my hotel said he wanted to work he brought his studio to my hotel so i was like okay Come, let's work. So we recorded, and the next week, I didn't know he was working on the J Balvin album, J Balvin and Bad Bunny. And then he played one of the songs we had done, mm -hmm. and he just moved up from there. Next thing, we were chatting on DM, next thing, just joking, he was like, oh, we should talk together. And before I knew it, they hooked up my manager. I'm like, I think 17 or 20 dates. You did 17 dates? Yeah, 17 wow. dates. In cities I never thought I'd go to, for Spanish people. What was our reception I, like? Yo, they, like, they're very, like, they're willing to hear new music. And so it was the most scary thing I, I've done in a while for music, because playing to 20,000 people who are there to watch only one person, mm -hmm. and Spanish music, reggaeton, urbano, and then you're coming and you're, you're performing. <laughs> you're literally the opener, you're opening. That's what it is. And so it was very challenging. Like I'd need prep for the first like two days. I'd need like prep to psych myself. To you go got there. this. You can do yeah, this. Yeah, you got this. You got this. <laughs> now, now you. What was it like um, performing in Medellin? Because 
that's one of my like I yeah. want to go there because I'm I yeah was we were with having narcos. this conversation yeah because I was obsessed chatting. with narcos yeah. and then you were like oh you're going to Medellin because that's where J Balvin is from right yeah. and I was like oh my gosh I want to go so and, we did yeah. the we did the uh, North America and then uh, we're supposed to do Medellin on the thirtieth I think I'm correct right so we're supposed to do Medellin on the thirtieth. And so I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've like looked up Medin, the weather, the people, the oh, food. Oh, so you haven't, you haven't done, you haven't no, done No, I haven't done Medin. Okay. I've just done the 20 dates in America. I see. Uh, and then things just got Well, really that means you can go now. <laughs> yeah, so you, you could go. But maybe. I'm not an add-on, so I have to come too. <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> I don't need a visa. Okay. I don't need a visa. Wow, well, shame my life. I'm getting married soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's so, not yeah. only. But wait, you, you are going to have like protection, right? Like security and everything because... Some I things guess, go down. I guess, but I'm I'm there on that's his city now. Oh, there, so the, you're that's the fine. City. So you're I'm fine. there, like I'm there with. It's just like you come, like that's his city. You can't come to someone's city and you know. So Funny it's all thing is, love. like easy things. I'm joking. It's I'm all very love. serious. I think you're. I, I think you're semi serious. No, I'm quite serious. Yeah. As long as like security is guaranteed, I'm there. No, there'll be. I'm okay. sure there'll be proper security. Okay, like, he's having a lot. A lot of big artists from around the world. That's like he's going back home concerts. Yeah, so oh, right. That's gonna it's be a big huge. deal. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And we have this song together on the album. So he, that was gonna be my next thing because you yeah. actually have recorded with yeah. him and you've got a song on his album. Yeah. Um. So what was it like working with him? I mean, you've worked with. But just give me like the top five, the like top non-Nigerian five. artists that you've worked with. Um. The ones, the ones that you had like an amazing experience with. Um. Obviously, just recently, Tiger. Yes, mm-hmm. we're gonna play that song um, in a second. Twenty months. Uh, J Balvin, Bad Bunny. That was really exciting. Um, I don't even know what to say. Well, gigs. I don't know, man. Gigs. Gigs. Yo, gigs was fun. Gigs was. Fun. I was. I was like scared in the studio. I was like, yo, because gigs voice is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember you said that he's kind of like your big brother. Yeah, he's like, it's like, like yeah, he's like that big brother. Um, I mean, like, it just goes a lot. There's this guy from uh, Morocco. It's called uh, L'Artiste. That was also an exciting one. I'm sure nobody has heard that song. It's French, and I'm singing in French. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sure nobody has heard that song. Can you speak French normally? No. So you're just a proud of lyrics? <laughs> so they have to teach you what to say. Yeah. I, I had the melodies and what I wanted to say, and then I, I knew, like, Francaise... France, I can't even pronounce it. Right. Francais. Francais. <laughs> Francais means like French, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, la, uh, ma belle, ma belle mm-hmm. Francaise. My yeah. French my beauty. Is it my French, French beauty, beauty or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so I was able to finesse it. Yeah. yeah. Do, you know, do you know that's something that we, I feel that um, we in Africa, when it comes to the uh, music industry, we haven't really, really tapped into. Um, and over the, over the, like, how many years we've got, we've, been collaborating with South African artists, yeah. with mm-hmm. Kenyan artists, but there have only been like a handful of um, collaborations with North African artists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have like mad numbers, don't yeah. they? They have yeah. like mad, mad numbers. So this yeah. is, this song's already been released, yes? Yes, it was released on his album, and he's been tr- we've been trying to make the video happen, but everybody shared this. Yeah, it's been tight. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, hasn't been able to do it. Um, just like the Balvin one, that's a, a more reason I have to go to Medellin because it will then make it like you know them videos where it's performance clips yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and the crowd reactions so that's that's the kind of thing yeah. that kind of effect yeah that so, kind of effect someone was saying that you're one artist who's very specific and to just about the people that you work with mm. or the people that you link up with do yeah. you but it sounds like also this happened to you yeah so you just happen to be in the right place at the right time I think it's a, it's a mix of them fun fact is Two years ago, I went to, I had a show in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. I played at a festival, like all Fre- uh, Spanish people. And that's when like I started listening to, like I didn't even know about Spanish music like that, except like gasolina, <laughs> only that. <laughs> that's reggaeton as well. Yeah, so for me, that was that was the end. Like I didn't even know. And then the one with the J Balvin record with uh, Beyonce, that was this big one. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten the name. I remember that from two years ago. Yeah, 
and then the one with Louis Fonsi and Justin Bieber. Mm. So that was Despacito. off. Yeah, Despacito. I don't understand how people in Lagos will be singing Despacito. We are not doing work. We know, know, about we know. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is chopping mouth. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I go for the festival and mm -hmm. I hear so much Spanish music. I just get obsessed with Spanish music. I only start watching on Netflix only Spanish um, series. That's when Tools and I will. Was talking and she was telling me the ones to watch. Yeah. I don't know why she likes all these narcos and it's drug, her past life. She drug one of them. Maybe she maybe she used to be some gangster. I, anyway. I feel that in my I feel that in my previous life I may have been a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> because because the shows the shows that I became obsessed with on Netflix are all about gangs. Even yeah. Top Boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh have you seen Top Boy? No, I haven't. Have I've, been say, I've been I've been I've been keeping it. If you can, because all of the seasons are on yeah. Netflix now, start from one, two, and three, and you know, I binge watched. I was watching it in my car, uh, like at home. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! I've I was been obsessed. I've been, I've been keeping it. So I was obsessed with Spanish music, and I just kept on saying, "Oh, I want to work with J Balvin." And then I found out Bad Bunny because after I was up next Apple Music, he mm -hmm. was then up next Apple Music. Oh. So I was like, "Okay, I want to work with this guy." And so it was just funny how everything then connected via Haiti. So I got out to Haiti. Next time in with Balvin, next in Balvin, we're chilling in Miami, we're recording. Next thing he hits me up, he's like, yo, I've sent it to Bad Bunny. He sends Bad Bunny first. I'm in Barcelona. We're putting the song together. I'm like, wow. This is really it. happening. That's amazing. This is crazy. Do you, are you like, um, you know, there are people that have certain beliefs. Uh, they believe that when they put something out there, yeah it will just come together yeah do, do you believe yeah i'm 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 a very big believer in that like and sometimes i have to remind myself that you just have to believe you have to put it out there yeah you have to put it out and there. work towards it as well yeah obviously but it's just like when you're looking for a house the moment you say i'm looking for a house you start seeing signboards mm -hmm, and you've mm -hmm. been passing that same yeah. place you never noticed it before yeah so i just think it's the same like she says she's she's getting married passport only next thing <laughs> i don't know if she's got a ring Receive already. it. no this no, is it she, yeah. <laughs> stop nonsense ring <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you one Are you winding her? <laughs> Passport only. Um, anyhow, so other than touring with J Balvin yeah. and basically going, where where else have you toured in like the last twelve months? In the last twelve months, uh, I I don't know. I think I went to uh, Martinique. I went to okay. Let me even just focus on this year. So this year I did. I started the year. Uh, I think April. Uh, North American tour, so I did Canada and the U.S. Uh, and then I've been majorly just doing Europe, mm. Europe and U.S., Europe and U.S., Europe and U.S. And yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Oh my gosh! Oh, and South is... Africa. So yeah. I did like three weeks. I did Swaziland. I did like four cities in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been. Where is where is home? That's the thing, man. I'm trying to answer that question, like. These days, I don't even know where home is. Like in another flight. Where do you feel most at home? Like after you've, you know, had like about two or three shows back yeah. to back, and you've got like some time off. Where do you yeah. want to go? See, yeah. I just it's not it's not a, an actual place. It's like I just want to be with like I want to be with either like family or loved one, and like that space is home. So wherever it is. So like the other time I was in Dubai with my dad. Yeah. And I ended up, it was supposed to be for maybe two, three days. I ended up staying there for 15 days. Oh, wow. And just like hanging out with my dad. And I'm like, yo, I've not even hung out with this guy in like three years. And it was like I was meeting a new friend and we we're becoming friends. Like, cause it wasn't that dad's son thing. It was yeah. like, oh, this is my guy. We'll yeah. go out together. We'll go and look for Niger food. You know, so home is. Are like, you part of? Are you part of those people that go to a foreign I'm country? I'm sorry. And I wasn't. I, I wasn't food. like that. I wasn't like that at <laughs> first. But after eating, you know, you be touring and then you start falling sick. <laughs> so you now realize like, what that. Because you're yeah, eating cheese. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then when you now get a cold, you start looking for pepper soup. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you know what? I might just. I should just stick to my Niger food. So anywhere I go, I'm looking for Niger food. If there's no Niger food, then. Uh, this Brazilian food where they have all the meat and all of that yeah, and plantain, yeah. so it's close to it's close okay. To okay. So, um, of all the different places you've been to, which country did you? I don't. Maybe you get you got booked for a tour, and you're like, oh my goodness, I never in a million years thought I'd ever visit this country. I think for for this year, it's been Swaziland. 
because I didn't even know where Swaziland was, and so really? I, yeah, I didn't even know where it was, and and I went there, and it was like a bushfire festival. It was so many people, so many people, like over twenty thousand people, and so I'm like, yo, and I was I was upset because we didn't then get to spend enough time there. The only time I'd heard of Swaziland was when there was this rumor that. They were giving wives to. <laughs> and they were calling Nigerian men to come and marry. I, yeah. I don't think that's oh true. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yeah. and what What has been the uh, biggest audience you've performed to? The biggest audience. Um. Biggest audience. I think it will be between maybe Congo and Swaziland, and there was this European show. He doesn't even know where he's been to. <laughs> you know, you're traveling all around the world. Yeah, but I think... It, it, so how many people are we talking? Maybe like 30, 30, 40,000. Wow, does yeah. that scare you a little bit? You ju I just wear my shades and just come and enjoy myself. I and mean, my manager always knows, like, I can see you're just enjoying yourself. Because you're scared, and then if you're, if you're scared, and you, if, if you're scared, you start getting anxious. Mm -hmm. And then you go there, like, music is spiritual. So people can tell that okay, there's something off. Even when you watch it, you're not happy. Yeah, yeah. But if you just go there saying, you know what, this is another show. I get to perform my songs to all these people and have fun on the stage. It's like, and then it's, you you be able to just just do it. What okay. was what was that Coachella performance like for you? Coachella performance week one was scary, and it wasn't even scary because of the crowd. It was scary. <laughs> it was scary because I knew that. Oh, everybody! That's the one show where my mom, my cousin, oh, they all grandma, watching. everybody's looking. And you know, that's that's the one you get judged the most when your entire family yeah. is watching. So mm -hmm. it was that one. But so the first one was, and you know, it was streaming live on YouTube. Yes, so you yes. have millions of people were watching. You know, so the first week was kind of as a little bit on the edge. But I enjoyed myself, and mm -hmm. then the second one was like, you know what, well, let's go and do it. And then, what what happened? I performed three times. So I did um, the main stage, and then in the evening of that, I did uh, a stage with Deep Low. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that one kind of set me ready for the next week because that one was just vibes. It was just yes, bunch just energy. of American people just ready to turn up. Mm -hmm. so what, what was the reception like? I mean, we saw we saw the performance, yeah. but obviously it's a different thing yeah. over there. It's a um, you know, there was a couple Africans there in the crowd, and then the new people, you see them feeling it, and for some other people, it's just like, okay, what is this? Huh? Where is this sound from? So you could, you could just see it, and after some time, you, you just, you switch up. But it was, it was lovely. It okay. was lovely. I, I, I couldn't believe I was doing <laughs> Coachella like Mad. now. I thought it, it, it was gonna happen. Much, like much later, later in the future. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a few questions from Twitter. Uh, first one is from Kingsley. Mm -hmm. Have they sent you the car? Yeah, I don't know. I just got in town today. <laughs> I you see, my away. Let him talk now, Mr. Manager. You say has, I'll, I'll make you. Can I, Mr. Manager, please? Can you stand up? Talk. You say he has a cold. I'll make you. I'll make you face the wall. Let him talk. Not to my knowledge, though. Not okay. to my what? Not to my knowledge. Yeah. So that was that was a big thing. Lots of people talked about that. Mm -hmm. So they is it that they tried to maybe deliver the car and you weren't around, or they just never <coughs> contacted you? Um, you know, I just I I I I was supposed to be a joke, right? When I saw when I saw it, it's like sometimes I forget that okay, this is Mister Easy, and, and everybody yeah. will carry it. Yeah, I just think oh, it's tossing. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was it was banter. I just saw it and I was like, ah. And next thing, I was, my manager just sent me. It's like, oh, you're on Insta Blog Manager. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> and then he told me, oh, the car. And I was like, oh. Do they well. contact you at least? Please tell like, me you guys message tweet now. Um, I don't know because like I, w I was away, so mm. I don't, I've 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 not had since I landed. I've not had a conversation with him, but. When he, I, I thought he would even when I was like, oh, should I take it down? And he was like, like you, you put it out already, so mm -hmm. like it is what it is. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think it was a very bad tweet, and it, and it, it seemed to be a bit like tongue in cheek as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like rude and yeah. vicious. It was yeah. just like a guy is high. Remember? <laughs> this happened. You know? Yeah, it's like hello. It's just like when you go out, when you go out to the club, 
and you see somebody that's on you and he's ordering <laughs> bottles and then you just go and hail him like hey i see you're having fun yeah. it's that kind of thing <laughs> and he starts shaking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh oh my gosh okay let's take a few more questions from our twitter okay this one i want to know so so during adebayonik said how did you meet timmy oh don't worry there's a there's a there's a movie coming out are you no. serious yeah there's a, no like a movie like okay. an actual movie about your so, love story yeah so okay. you see that is is you see that there's a section in the movie that is love story so yeah you see that is this on your life or on the two of you yes yeah, it's, it's on my life it's like from from maybe from seven years ago okay to to now so it's, it's, it's not it's not like a long movie it's yeah. like a short a short thing. I like them short ones. They just sit on Netflix and you could just... Just a short clip. In 30 minutes, yeah. Wait, is it going to be on Netflix? You're done. I, I want it to be everywhere, so... Okay. So I don't want to spill... I know that's tea a lot of people... Yeah, because like, someone was like, I'm a boss. I'm going to need that yeah, even my right friends, now. Like, even my friends, I was at the wedding and the bride was asking me. She's like, oh, so how did you meet your girlfriend? I'm like, okay, so this this has to be in the movie. Yeah, people want to know. Mm, yeah. But what I want to know is who moved to who first? I, you told me the story. Yes, yeah, so I know. You shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because no, then people, sorry, then, sorry. Then, oh, people okay. Not, then people will okay, not. Okay, okay. See, I'm gonna shut up everybody's mics. I won't. I won't. I won't <laughs> you guys I won't cannot say. do this. I was like, yeah. I was like, you I can't, can't do this. this. I watched this question oh, before. Oh, two like, just okay. end already. I'm not see, thank you. Since you already knows, you might as well share with all of us. No, thank you. Come on. Wait, wait, wait for the movie. Don't be in the cinema. Come on, I'm a boy. Don't be in the cinema. Oh, by the way, she just launched um. A, a capsule collection. That's why I was here last week. Okay. So yeah, her. the orange culture her. thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. I was rocking oh, it. Yes, right. I was rocking it. I, I, so you guys are still very much together, very much yeah. in love. Yeah. Hey, when yeah. we spoke about this last time, yeah. I was like, how far with, with what? the next step? You might never know these things. You don't are you guys already know. married? <laughs> are you guys already married? If you are married, we will revolt. Just so you, you know. Revolt for what, <laughs> we will revolt. You know what? You can't you don't don't know make it We will hold it right. We will hold it right. It's very legal. I thought this would come with this. Okay, so you actually got married. Eh? <laughs> you don't try it, all. You can't. You can't. You can't. We'll end up booking booking a show for you in Lagos, <laughs> and you won't know it's your wedding. <laughs> Someone has told me that. <laughs> Someone has told me that. Just sit just sit here. Yeah. Yeah. People are like, huh? Pass just sit, 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 pass. <laughs> it's like next thing you know is your wedding. You know, at your own wedding. Right? You know. And I'll be the one to distribute. I should be to Don't yeah, play with us. So don't, don't, don't play with us. That <laughs> okay, all right. So um, things are still, things are looking very, very like good, rosy, happy for, for both of you, right? Yeah. Support it. Does she come on tour with you sometimes? Um, some, sometimes when she, she, she runs a busy schedule, but sometimes like the the big ones, is that the big ones or the ones that are that are weird? Like um, I played somewhere in the Middle East, I'm trying to remember, but I never thought I would go there. And then when I, when I, when I, when we were talking and I was like, oh, I'm going to this place. She's like, ah, what are you going there for? I'm like, I'm going to perform. She's like, wow, that should be exciting. And then she she got back to me and said oh she could make it and we went there um together we went there together it was it was it was scary mm -hmm. <laughs> but we went there together so she comes for like the ones that are um unusual mm -hmm. and then obviously the ones that are big really matter and we try to do the same coachella of course she was she there coachella, yeah right? coachella mm -hmm. she was she was there backstage like she was there before i got on i was looking at her it's like okay she's there and oh, then she went no forward more. And she went, f she went for on, on on the first one. She went forward, and when I was performing, I saw her, and she was like, oh. "Does she? Does she sometimes when you're on stage and you're performing? Does she sometimes stand in front and like sing your songs back to you?" Like at Coachella, she she was she was there. She was there, right? Like I could see her by the right. I could see her there, and she was singing like she was singing every song. And it's like sometimes it's like you 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 need that. You need yeah. Does that, that make you more comfortable on stage? Friends. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay, and you guys made um the news. I remember reading this because I think for your birthday she got you um is it Andrea Borcelli um tickets? Yeah. 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 So um so I, I, I do a show with Bimmy and we talk about how, you know, there's not a lot of how do I say this? As in, we could afford as Nigerians to be yeah. a bit more romantic, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to gift giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, is that the most? Is that the most um, special gift she's ever given you? Um. 
I, I don't want to rank, but I think that was really, I'm not saying it's the most special, but it was, it was really, really important to me because um, I think I'd said that just once, mentioned Andrea Shelley once, and my dad had told me, like, when I started listening to Andrew Bocelli when I was in uni, and my dad had told me, my dad was going to Italy, and he had told me he would buy a ticket for me, but I didn't get my visa. Oh. <laughs> you know, that and it was them expensive him. tickets, but he's not, he's not yeah, a cheap. Yeah, he doesn't, he's he doesn't talk, cheap. but this, we were even, this one was even like, okay, it was the arena, so the, 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 uh, the better price. But them, the, the ones my dad wanted to get me, it was a very small show. Yeah. And so I was like, what are the odds? Because he doesn't talk like that. And yeah. so it was, he, doesn't, it was, he doesn't need to. Yeah, he doesn't even need to. It was special. I'm just watching to see that, okay, this guy, because that guy's voice is like, it's like when you think of heaven, you think that's what you're going to be. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, Welcome so, to that. Yeah, so just watching him singing, it's like... Did you cry? Okay. Okay, what's wrong with you? This no, is something it was, that you looked forward to for years and years. This something was. What's wrong with you shedding a tear? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's like when I see people crying at my shows. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, really. <laughs> what's wrong with you? You're judging you your fans. Yeah, no, because I'm, I'm like, okay, like. Is it that deep? Is it real? Because you know when we used to watch them, P Square. Yeah. Performing in Africa and people are like fainting. fainting. Sometimes the Nigerian in you say, hmm, are you sure this is no <laughs> they paid them. This is not Nollywood. This is not Hollywood. But seeing that happen. And so it's now this never happened to me. Like I'm a fan, like I'm a legit fan of Andrew Bocelli. So me being on the other side and watching and just being like I was just like this, just watching. So it was it was but really you, but emotional. But earlier you did say that like music is a spiritual thing. Yeah. So I feel that sometimes you can yeah. have that kind of, you know, connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, or if it's if it's a song or an artist that reminds you of a particular time in your life. Yeah. And you're now seeing it on yeah. stage yeah. and everything, it yeah. can be, you know, quite yeah. moving. There's no shame in it. Yeah. There's no shame oh, in no, it. There's, there's, no there's there's no shame in it. It's just we we was arguing and then I was like no 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 I was like I was calm I was calm I, I wasn't calm it was, she was like you were crying it, I wasn't, I was, there was a lot of all it's like everybody was crying they were they were sharing they were, like, like okay everybody cry now and, and you see this one crying and then you're also crying it's like okay why are we crying what's going on <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Okay, so we are going to get some music from Mr. Easy right now. Let me see what we're gonna play. What we're gonna play? We're gonna play Call Waiting. Oh. Um, then when we come back, a few more questions, and then we're gonna listen to Tony Montana, sure. the song that you have yeah. with Tiger. This is the Beat 99.9 .9 FM, Mr. Easy and King Promise. Um, Joey B is also on this track. This yeah. is Call Waiting. <laughs> 